1974, the University Film Studies Center at MIT commissioned four local filmmakers to make a short film on the arts in Massachusetts. I was lucky to be one of the four filmmakers, and I chose to make a film on Nick Edmonds, an art professor at Boston University. He was also an artist who created large abstract wood sculptures in a studio in Sharon, a half hour south of Boston. Not only did I film him inside his studio, but I also wanted to show his sculptures outside. We transported two finished sculptures using a moving fan to a large meadow in a state park nearby his studio. I had sketched out a plan on how to shoot and move around the sculptures by placing plywood sheets on the grass and maybe dolly around the sculptures. That was my plan. Steve Shane, who also recorded the sound for the film, made three quarter inch plywood platforms, four by eight feet in size, strengthened by two by fours, and held together by screws so we could dolly over the smooth joints. And all of it laid out in a wide U shape. I built a dolly using ball bearing rubber wheels, and Steve pushed me around the sculptures. It all worked out very well. The film is five and a half minutes long.
we were paid $7,000 to make the film, and I was able to make it for less. And so with the profit, I bought a used Carmen Ghia convertible. The film was shown on WGBH, and 35 millimeter prints were made, and the film was shown as a short subject before the feature length film in local movie theaters. There were critical reviews from local newspapers about the film. The Boston Herald American wrote, in the Edmonds film, we see much of wood. It's cut and chopped until we nearly brief sawdust. But we learn little of the silent artist in a film that is visually stylish, but narrow and a bit cold. I thought it was a fair critique. Nick Edmonds wasn't a very talkative person, and I should have given the film more breathing room and some words by Nick at the end. The South Shore News from Rockland, Mass. gave a much better write-up that showed an understanding of what I was trying to achieve. Hoving's film explores the textures and sounds involved in the production of a monumental wood sculpture. The sounds and close-up images of wood being sawed, drilled, planed and lifted develops into an interplay between the artist as filmmaker and the artist as wood sculptor.